What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we have something slightly different today We're gonna go ahead and talk about Forza Horizon 4 <laughs> And today, we're going to talk about what I think is Horizon's biggest issue. Not even just Horizon's biggest issue, but Forza's biggest I issue as a whole. And that is progression. I think it's safe to say that Forza has had very little progression, if any, since it made the leap up to next gen. For some reason, when they made the leap up to next gen, they kind of realised, oh, this isn't a thing we're going to put in our games. And then they just didn't put it in their games. And that's kind of lead us, led us to where we are now. So this means the lack of a story. Story mode, you know, they've kind of made it a bit more open. So with the last game, we got Forza Horizon Blueprints, which I think was the single-handedly worst thing they could have done for the single player. They literally got rid of all the, all the progression in the last game. They were like, you know what? We're not going to make a story because, you know, we don't want that in our game. Instead, you make your own story and role play with yourself. Pretty much it. That they did. They did honestly did literally say in one of the interviews, you can make your own story, which I think is a bit of a cop out because like you could say that with anything. It's like when your mom says, "Oh, I'm bored." It's like find something to do. It's like well, it's not quite that easy because there's nothing to do. The same with Horizon. It's like make your own story. Like what am I doing? Like this just not just not an answer. So the first thing is we don't have story. So I think the story is one of those things for progression, really really important. It gives you a motive to play games generally. You know. Um, if people don't like Need Speed 2015s, but it was there. It was still a reason to play. The crew also had a story. Again, another reason to play. Look at some of your most popular games you've ever played. They've had stories. The only one exception I can think of was Burnout Paradise, but that was like that was art in video game form. They got away with it because there was still so many other things to do in the open world, like you know smashing billboards, um, uh, you know with the gates, the, the yellow gates that you did, and um, then you would get licenses as well. There's not really anything like that in Horizon, so I can, but Paradise gets a pass for not having a story because it is still one of the greatest racing games of all time, and it still had a shit ton of progression both online and offline and both of them were different. Now I honestly don't know why people, no one's talking about this because I think it's a pretty huge thing that's, that's you know, been plaguing the Forza series since it made the, the leap up to next gen. I am backing a story for the next game. I want to see an antagonist, you know, similar to the first Horizon, you know, Darius Flint had his, um, um, his um, I think it was a 599XX. Um, I want to see something like that. I want to see an antagonist. I want him to be an actual dick, you know, Maybe wear, wear a suit, but you get the idea, you know, I want a full-on story, a reason for me to play through the single player, because currently right now, if you were new and you were to hop on Horizon, there's no reason for you to play the single player, it is a tech demo. I've said this for ages now, Forza is a tech demo, we need a reason for us to play through the story mode, and the best reason I can think of, in the single player at least, is, you know, having a story mode. Showcase events need an extreme overhaul. In 2017, I am sick of racing planes. I don't care anymore. It's scripted most of the time, unless you're a retard, you win. I want to see a complete overhaul to those because to be honest, at the moment, they're pretty, they're pretty average. For example, maybe in showcase events, you change that whole idea instead. Because obviously at the moment, it's kind of like spectacle events where you just race against the plane. Why not completely change that as a whole and like, you know, change the actual modes for showcase events? One thing I literally just thought of right now, maybe you have like a canyon road and you do a one-on-one -on -one kind of like initial DS toge battle down the battle and that is a showcase event and you can only do that in the showcase event that would be really cool how about a drift challenge personally I think drifting modes should already be in horizon I don't understand why drifting modes aren't in a horizon game yet and I'm not talking about you know drift corners I'm talking about full-on drift tracks the physics are virtually made for it so why that's not in there now really don't know drift modes need to be in the next game period anyway I'm rambling those types of things will be really cool for showcase modes you know I'm not sure if I'm the only one getting sick of racing against a plane like I'm not sure if I'm the only one that feels like there needs to be a story mode in this game but to be honest these are the things which stop me playing Forza if there was like a one-on-one -on -one toge thing and that was only in the showcase events you best believe I'm gonna do that a good few times because that would be a sick mode the second thing to do with progression which I want to talk about is money I have like 20 mil sat on Horizon 3 right now and it's just sat there doing nothing 
That should never be the case. Give my money worth. Currently, right now, money's just thrown at you in Horizon like it's no end. Like, they're just money's just thrown at you at a ridiculous rate. Now, I'm not saying Forza isn't about collecting cars because it always has been, but look at the original Horizon. When you went from the first car, which was the Volkswagen Scirocco, it was not a well, it was a kind of a good grind to get up to the higher end cars. You need to play that game to get, you know, the, 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 Mc, the McLaren race cars and stuff. To get an F40 GT, you needed to really play that game. And only the people that really played that game would get those types of cars. I want to see that kind of philosophy return. It just doesn't happen much nowadays. And it's really disappointing because, again, those are one of the things which really kind of keep me coming back to the game. And by the seams of things, with Forza Motorsport 7, it seems like they're just going more in the opposite direction. I know in one of the actual um, interviews that I think AR12 did, uh, one of the Forza Motorsport 7 devs said that players want it to be more open, which personally, if you ask me, I've never heard of that. And considering I'm a YouTuber, I kind of, the main thing I do really is listen to what you guys are saying in the comments. Like, I'm always 100% surrounded by community feedback. Not once have I ever heard anyone say that, oh yeah, I want Forza to be more open. Never have I ever heard that. So for them to say that's what the community wants, from my perspective at least, that's just, just really stupid, really dumb, and just seems like a blatant lie. Now, I'm not calling anyone a liar, but you know, that's just how I see it from my perspective. Anyway, back on topic. I want money to have a place in the game. I get it if you want to throw certain cars at me at the start. You know, I get it if you want me to start with a Forza Rewards program. But don't make it feel like I'm the cars have no worth. Don't make it feel like an F40 isn't an F40, you know, that's a serious piece of kit, and I want it to feel like a serious piece of kit in the game. Customization, now, this is something which Forza has kind of implemented in the last game. Uh, why Buddies was cool, I just say add more of them, but more importantly, the veal side kits, which you've had in the past three games in Fast and Furious packs, why can I not use those kits on normal cars? You have built them, you have modelled them, they have been in the past few games. Why can I not do an Abflug Supra? Why can I not make a Veal Slide 350Z. Why can't I do any of that? You've got the kits in the game, put them in. I don't understand what the philosophy is. Again, DLC. I've made so many more videos about Forza's DLC problems. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'll link them down in the description. I would like to see the DLC can be completely reworked. Currently, you're running on an old formula. It's not working. Please change it. Anyway, let's move on to the third thing. And I'm not sure if this is more of an underlying issue with the studio or what it is. But there just needs to be a bit more heart in the game. When I played Forza 4, when I played Horizon 1, it felt like there was they were trying to prove something. They were trying to be better than Gran Turismo. They were trying to be better than all the other arcade races that were out at the time. But now, I don't get that same feel. I don't get that same feel that they've put heart into the game and that, you know, they're trying to catch something, you know. Right now, it feels like, yeah, we make the best arcade racers try do something about it. That's the kind of vibe I get when I play these games. Now, personally, I don't think they're making the best arcade races. Far from. I think what the crew and Need for Speed are doing are just miles better than Forza because Forza feels like a tech demo. You play the game for like a month or two, you drive the cars you want to drive, you do the races you want to do, and then what else? Go into multiplayer, you know, become a, a pro multiplayer guy in, in Forza Horizons multiplayer. Then you find out that it's XP based and it's not points based in the multiplayer. So the person that's drifting behind a, at the back of the pack is going to do better than you are, even though you're coming first every race? No, that's fucked. Reward good players. Why are you rewarding XP? No one cares. Like, reward players who finish first in races. You know how many times I finish first in races, but then finish bottom of the XP board? That makes no sense at all. It seems like Horizon just doesn't accommodate the hardcore player at all. Like, like even Forza-thons. Forza-thons are one of those things where you go back on the game for 20 minutes, come off, and then you've got a car which you which you aren't going to use for no reason. Maybe take a few photos of it and then that's it. Like, give me a reason to drive these cars. Like, ultimately, yeah, you've got cars. You've got plenty of cars. You've made that completely aware. I mean, I'm aware that you've got, like, over 700 cars in the next game. But what's the point in having all these cars if there's something to do with them? I mean, that's how I see it. Forza, it's, gr it's a great platform. 
It's got everything that it's needed for a platform, you know, all the cars, you know, all of the graphics and stuff. It looks really good and it's got the platform for a great racing game, but they're not using the platform correctly in my opinion. With Forza's progression especially, this is where it becomes ever so more evident because this is the biggest issue. What happens when you've got that dream car you wanted? What happens if I buy my R32, I've tuned it to, uh, to perfection, what do I do then? Do I race it online? and then lose online because the XP boards are fucked? Do I do that scripted showcase event, which I've done a million times in other games, just to know that I'm gonna win regardless because I'm not that bad of a player? Do I take it in the Hot Wheels expansion, which I finished in a week of buying it? There needs to be more endgame, and I've been saying this for years, they're not gonna listen, but I needed to rant all this out because it's pissing me off. I don't want Horizon to be out of my interest after three months. I wanna go back to Horizon and I wanna enjoy Horizon repeatedly. But if they carry on with the way they're going, well, you can see my problem really. There's no end game. There's no end game, you know. With all of the, the crew's faults, you know, people can fault the crew as much as they want, but that game has limitless content. The summit, PVP, the faction missions, those are three more things which can add hundreds of hours of playtime which Horizon doesn't have. Again, Need for Speed with all of its physics faults, you know, prestige mode, speed list, that actually reward good players. Eddie's challenge, you know, an actual additional story mode to the story mode which is already in the game. As much as people want to rail on those games, those are things which are in those games. Even Gran Turismo Sport, you know, if you look at Gran Turismo Sport and then look at Forza 7, the whole on life of Gran Turismo Sport is trying to emulate an FIA kind of approved like battleground. You get rewarded for being a good player in that game. You'll get rewards for being a good player in that game for playing online, which Forza Motorsport 7 doesn't have. This is my point. The biggest problem which Forza faces is progression. I hope that so if like the janitor sees this at Forza, just show Dan Greenwald, show Ralph Fulton, like just get the word out that we don't want to be easily, you know, be easily completing the game. I get that Horizon is supposed to be a game which is supposed to be easy to pick up, but that doesn't mean that it can't be easy to pick up, hard to master, like these other games are. And I hope I'm not the only one that shares this opinion, because every time I make videos about this, for the most part, I always get, like, a lot of dislikes for some reason, which makes no sense, because this is this should be something which everyone should want from Forza. Anyway, rant over. I know this was a long one. I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Um, don't worry, we'll go back to normal gameplay videos soon, but I just needed to get this out. Um, but anyway, that's been it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome. Stay safe and peace.